An innovative program to help people down on their luck work for the city has been launched in Tulsa. It's called A Better Way and is modeled after something tried in Albuquerque, New Mexico. If it works as well in Tulsa, the mayor hopes it will forge a better way in other cities in Oklahoma and across the nation. We see them on street corners in most metropolitan areas of Oklahoma. Panhandlers carrying signs asking for handouts. Some passers-by feel sympathy and give them money. Others look away as if they aren't there. And a number of people believe they're bums, substance abusers who don't want to work. But Tulsa Mayor G.T. Bynum doesn't see it that way. Rather than treating them like criminals, uh, we want to treat them like our neighbors and find, connect them with people here in our community that are trained to help them get back on their feet. Bynum went to Albuquerque, New Mexico to investigate a program called A Better Way. It offers jobs to panhandlers. Bynum pitched it to district councilors and got funding for it in the city's budget. 50000 from the city was matched by the trash board. They put in 50000 as well uh, to match our donation because what these folks are doing a lot of the time is picking up debris and, and limbs and things like that that end up in our refuse system anyway. And, and our trash board recognized this was the kind of thing that they'd like to help us test out. The program has only been up and running for a few weeks, but word is getting around. Three days a week, this green and white truck takes willing street people to work. The assignment this day was to clean up some city parks. At the end of the day, each will have earned $65. What does $65 mean to you right now? $65 to me right now, I mean, it's, it's a big difference between, you know, eating and doing laundry and, you know, just everything. Linda Boyle isn't homeless, but after a brain aneurysm a few years ago, she's had a hard time holding a job. I, you know, trying to not accept that I've got a disability enough to where I need to go apply for disability. I have not applied for disability. You know, I still feel like I'm very capable of working, but I have a lot of headaches that keep me down. She and others on the work crew say they're happy to be out here today and that it sure beats panhandling. I was always one of those people that would give everything I had if, to someone who needed it. And now I find myself on that, in that position and it's kind of hard and humbling, you know. And if you get out there panhandling, I tell you, it's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. You know, sit there and you know, show people I'm hungry or, you know, and, and, or need help, you know. Melvin Parsley and the others got up at the crack of dawn to get on the work crew. Parsley lives at the Salvation Army shelter right now and says he too has been reduced to panhandling. It's a shameful feeling, you know. I, I can't really look at the people in the eye, you know, and just stand there with a sign. Then usually when they try to hand me money, I say I'd rather have a job if you got a job. Alex Aguilar is the director of employment services for A Better Way. She and others working for the program say it's all about connecting with people. We try to be clear that this is not a day labor program, that this is not a uh, continual sustainable employment that this is a better way, it is a launch pad into something that's better for you. Rob Harmon is an employment specialist who introduces himself to the workers during a communal lunch break. So our process is to get to know uh, everybody that says they want employment services. Uh, we, we do a sort of a career profile, uh, meet with them separately. So it takes a little bit of time. Um, I think the important thing is to make sure that when we do uh, land them in their next job, that it's something that uh, is a good fit for them. Harmon has found people with all kinds of abilities, from management to skilled labor. Lately, I was a uh, small engine mechanic, uh, work on lawnmowers, chainsaws, weed eaters, and I really like that. I got uh, training at a shop in Arkansas. Bynum believes it's a win-win for the city. But it's easy to forget the work that they're out there doing actually is a tremendous benefit for the city in beautifying your city and cleaning it up. The mayor hopes Tulsa realizes the success Albuquerque experienced, where after a year it has more than doubled the size of the program with two crews working five days a week.